Sup, Sue Birds. Sup, Sue Birds. Marin Sue. Marin Sue. Subscribe, Sue Birds. Today is February 5th, 2023. Today is February 6th, 2022. February 5th, 2021. I am 18 years old. 17 years old. 16 years old. My subscriber count is 167 subscribers. 217 subscribers. I have 336 subscribers. Okay, so funny thing about my most viewed video, I was going through it and I had the order from most recently posted and I clicked on putting it in order of most popular <laughs> and I found out that my most viewed is called Stuffed Tummies. It's a video that's 49 seconds and it has 51,000 views. <laughs> I literally put no effort into making that. I like made it in GarageBand super quick, recorded it with my cousins in like one night and 51,000 people have seen us dance around and make a weird video. My most viewed video is the White, White Winter, Winter Hymnal. Hymnal. I got 1.7k views. It has 1.9k views. That's crazy that in one year the same video was the most viewed. Now for mine, the White Winter Hymnal has 2,000 views, but then it goes up. Kidnapped on my 16th birthday has 2,000 views. Last week of high school was 4.4k. I remember I was not checking in on that post. I just kind of posted it and then just left it alone. That one, I, I was not really paying attention. And then one day I got on and I was like, it passed the 1.9 whatever I used to have with the White Winter Hymnal so quickly. And I was like, and then the other day I found out I have 51,000 views on my other video. So I think that's cool that now three videos have passed that and it's the White Winter Hymnal is still growing. I want to get 200 subscribers, have merch, finish reading my scriptures. Well, I'm going to be starting my senior year, so I want to be able to know where I'm going um, and what I'm exactly going to be doing. I think it's cool that I wanted to focus on my scriptures. Right now, that is something that I've kind of, a habit I've gained. So I'm glad that like seeing two years ago, I wanted that and now it's kind of just second nature. That's not something I'm working on because I achieved it. So it's pretty cool. I'm not really focusing on youtube as much i don't really have any goals i want to sell more of my merch um sadly my merch is not up because i was spending way more money <laughs> with the website than i was getting so actually at northwest i've like shown some people like i showed the basketball boys that i had merch and they all ended up buying it straight from me so that i didn't even have to have my website up and i made more money than i had when it was up if that makes sense so like text me individually if you do still want my merch or comment if you don't have my number or anything but i just i don't have it all up at all i just have to like send screenshots of what kind of products i have and i i was talking to one of the basketball boys and he like threw out some other ideas of designs but then i never did anything with that and so i need to maybe change some of the designs and if any of you guys want it i haven't even been active really on youtube so it's whatever so my goals for future YouTube career, I'm not really focusing on YouTube. I love making videos and keeping a journal of my life, but as of right now, I'm not really focused on becoming famous or anything like that. I never really was, but I thought it'd be cool to have lots of people see my things. But right now I'm more focused on just school work well, one goal I might have is to practice around with my camera and get some cool shots because I'm having fun in college, but I'm not really posting much about it, so. And also making some more professional videos. What do you want to accomplish this year? I want to graduate high school and go to college, and I want to get a lot of scholarships. Um, I have a overall goal for the year 2023 and the goal is to find ways and learn ways to spend my time differently to grow closer to Christ. Um, 
a lot of my time last year was spent on my phone and social media and the benefit of others. And so this year, I really want to focus on learning different things to spend time with. Um, because obviously, time keeps moving forward. And so I don't want to waste it doing it on things that will not help me grow with my future and make me who I want to be. I think I struggle with comparing myself to others and feeling like I have, I'm not doing enough. I need to be better at talking to my family. During that time, two years ago, I remember my parents would say, like, I love you to me, and I would ignore them. I would just walk away. Or, like, they would want to give me a hug, and I would just, like, push them off completely. I don't know what, I think it was just some teenager hormones or something. I definitely was in a really tough spot because every little thing that my parents did, I don't know why, but it just bugged me so much. I remember going through that and not knowing how to fix it because I wanted to, but my like feeling towards them did not change. So I felt bad and I, it was like a constant battle with myself because I was like, why am I feeling this way? Why do I not want to say I love you back? Or like, why do I get so angry when they want to hug me? So it was like a constant battle. And I remember that was really hard. And I was like constantly praying, trying to figure out how to get past that mindset and move on. I don't know. So that was rough. I'll be having like such a good day and then randomly like a thought will be coming in my mind and I'll be like, no one likes me. Like I said, I self-sabotage myself and it's terrible. Like it's, I should not be doing that. I need to know my self-worth. I remember that feeling and I still sometimes feel that. Like I never know if I truly fit in and if they are just like being friends with me because I'm trying to be friendly to them. But overall I've become more self-aware and I know my worth. If they don't want to be friends with me or if they don't like me or they if they find me annoying, that's their thing. I think I've gained more of an understanding that it's okay that people don't like me a little bit. What are some things you struggle with? Um, personally, I struggle with people pleasing. Um, that's not a terrible thing, but I think that it can cause problems when you do things solely for their benefit or for them to like you. I struggle with worrying about judgments that people might give me. Um, a lot of my thought processes in different relationships and friendships has caused anxiety because I'm just thinking about what other people will do and how they'll react to it. I mostly turn, turn to, to my, my sisters, sisters for, for guidance, guidance. Um, my parents, my aunt Brooklyn, oh, also for guidance, Dave Ramsey. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich one day. I always turn to my sisters and my parents. If I need help, recently my mom and my aunt Brooklyn. I think that's so cool that the same people I turned to guidance um, last year are the same people I turn to guidance now. Since Powell, where I'm going to school, is such a small town, I just like worry telling people in the town things I'm dealing with. So when they have like an outside perspective with my family, it is easier to tell them and talk to them more about things with a non-biased opinion. I just fear that the pandemic and COVID will still be around and that my senior year will be messed up. My two year ago self, that was really hard with COVID. I wanted to be optimistic and look forward to my senior year, but I was also nervous like, oh my goodness, is it gonna be messed up? And I feel really bad because that must've been a scary time. Luckily, I was at the age where it didn't impact me as much because I was a sophomore. Um, for juniors and seniors, it was still like the tradition, or transition of how to figure out COVID but then by the time it was my senior year it was practically all gone. I'm just nervous that schooling is gonna be crazy and friends I don't know. I remember last year I was very set on going on a mission which is something that honestly would bless my life so much. As of right now I'm not planning on going on a mission but I was set on going on a mission and I think that being away from my life at home I was able to make more independent choices and learn for myself that I need to do what's right for me and not do what I think is the best to check off the list. Oh, she went on a mission. She's an amazing Latter-day Saint. Like, no, I can still be a great person and a great Latter-day Saint without going on a mission. So I've come to that consensus this year, actually.
I fear that I won't have many good relationships with friends. Like, I reach out to people, but I never want them to think that they're like a box off the checklist. Like, oh, I checked in on them. Like, I genuinely am worried and fear that, like, I won't have true close friends. Why are you passionate about what you do? I love editing videos. With editing, I love editing and stuff, but I'm not more doing it on my phone. I think that if I gain a graphic design major or a, a graphic design degree, then I think it'd be really cool to also know how to do videography, video editing, and photography as well. So I might take some classes that go towards that as well. I think that that'd be a good package deal with whatever I'm wanting to do in my career. I am very passionate in editing. But as in for YouTube, I'm not as crazy about it. In my life right now, I'm very passionate about money, like finances, budgeting, and no debt. And I really, really want to be wealthy in my future. So I was very passionate about finances. I still am very passionate. I ended up last year in April starting my Roth IRA. And so every month I put in $100 and it hasn't really grown much, but I think that obviously very slow growth until it gets bigger and bigger. What is it called? Compound interest. But I haven't been budgeting much because everything is covered by scholarships right now. I don't have bills technically because it's all through the school. So I hope that like when I start having house bills and utility bills and car bills and phone bills and stuff that I'll be able to manage my money but right now, that's not something that I'm focusing on, but I'm making sure that I'm not spending all my money on everything because that'd be bad. <laughs> so I was talking about YouTube. I'm becoming less passionate. It's more about just keeping a memory of my growing up alive. Um, once everything turned digital, like on phones, all of my growing up was kind of in small clips and never really put together. And so I think that making a YouTube channel was a way to, for me to show my growing up stage, I guess. Right now, I'm learning about graphic design. I'm very passionate about creating logos and cool designs, and um, I'm excited to see what kind of career I can make out of that. Right now, my dog, my dog Daisy. Daisy. What brings you the most happiness? Right now, two things bring me the most happiness. The Gospel of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints brings me so much peace and I feel so happy. The church helps me want to continue to strive to be better each day and so that brings me even more happiness. Um, the second person or thing <laughs> that brings me the most happiness is my boyfriend right now. I'm truly my happiest self and I get to just laugh and have a good time and he's my best friend right now. So that's, that's fun. <laughs> A room for improvement in my life is to focus more on church things. I need to be able to figure out how to have social media and be productive at the same time. Get off social media. <laughs> I agree with the social media aspect. I got off Instagram. I'll go on every week and then delete it right after I'm done using it. But when I do go on, I spend hours just sitting and like, oh, I miss this, I miss this. But majority of the time, I'm not even looking at people that I know personally. I'm just watching the reels. And so I'm glad that I delete the Instagram because I feel so much lighter and better without it just draining me. Like, oh no, did I miss someone's post? Or just to sit and be bored and scroll. I'm doing that currently. And each month, I'm also writing goals. So I have like an overall goal. But then each month, I'm changing my goals if they didn't work for me the last month. Obviously, it's only February. So I just have made two different goals but i'm really thinking that after high school i will try to get off social media i just barely got a time thing that came on my screen time alert and it said five hours average of five average of five hours this week five hours i could be using doing so many things five hours of sitting on my phone scrolling there mine was five hours today and I didn't find that as alarming, which is bad. <laughs> but yesterday I spent a lot of time on my phone, which is not good. Because I re-downloaded re Instagram and I just spent like two hours straight. It was terrible. 
Um, but I did not delete social media, but I am working on finding ways to manage it as Something well. Something I need to improve in my life is definitely social media. I mean, it's fun and all, but when you're just scrolling and there's nothing to see besides people's random memes and funny videos, like, I don't, I could be benefiting by reading a book or listening to podcasts that'll help me in my life, like, actual things that will benefit me instead of just sitting on and looking at stuff that I will never remember or care about in the next few days. I have a goal to do Come Follow Me. It's a church thing that each year they focus on a different um, book, like the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Book of Mormon, the Pro of Great Price, Doctrine and Covenants. I think Pro of Great Price is in one of them. Anyway, um, and this year's New Testament, and so I've been solely focused on learning about Christ and reading that. And so with podcasts, I have been listening to a Come Follow Me podcast every week so I can get that intake of goodness. I want to improve in spending my time on less worldly things and more on the eternal span of everything. And I want to improve on friendships and service. I took a little quiz that they have for missionaries in our church in Preach My Gospel, and it was like how you rate yourself with attributes of Christ. And my lowest was in charity and love. And I really need to focus on serving others and loving others because I can be selfish sometimes and I need to really move my thoughts away from me and put it on other people. What is some advice you would give yourself a year ago? Continue to be happy. Trust in God. He has a plan no matter what. I know that last year, lots of things brought up tender feelings that you had buried deep inside. I don't know how to say that more normal. But I would tell you to keep praying, keep reading the scriptures, keep striving to be better set goals to become who you want to be and also don't worry about the little things too much what is some advice you would give your future self next year you better be getting ready for your mission and i hope that you strengthen your testimony in the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints and always talk about your beliefs and you stick to your standards and you are stalwart in your schoolwork and that you don't back down and you make good choices in college. Thanks so <laughs> I literally started crying. That was so sweet. I feel bad that I'm not going on my mission like my little self, my younger self wanted me this literally last year. <laughs> My last year self wanted me to do so badly, but my life is like my mission. Like I am solely focused on bringing the light of Christ to those around me. So like I kind of got emotional because like I was proud of myself. I'm like, wow, I really stuck to all of my standards in schoolwork and things that my past self wanted me to do. That was kind of like a touching moment because I have not watched this video since a year ago when I posted it. Because I wanted to keep it as truthful and real as possible. That kind of got me emotional, but... What is some advice you would give to your future self? God has a plan for you. You just have to trust that He knows what you need to do. He will guide every decision, every big decision, every little decision. Sometimes you have to make them on your own, but He will not lead you astray. And so just trust that whatever is meant to happen will happen and he has a plan thanks, thanks so, so much, much for watching, watching. Um, i'm grateful that you were able to stick with me one more year and i'm glad that i was able to look back and review my past two years of my life um, i hope that you have a great year and you continue to strive to be better and make goals and progress in life and i love you guys lots peace